This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction of today, we are going over to Ukraine. And before I start, I'd like to apologise. YouTube has still not corrected my subtitles, which means I can't put any subtitles on. It's still in that auto-sync is taking longer than expected. And it's been like that since uh, since Christmas. So no matter what reactions I do, I can't upload my uh, subtitles. So I'm waiting for that to be sorted out. So apologies for that. Second thing I've realised, that I almost stopped reacting to Christmas carols. Not forgetting that um, Ukrainian Christmas is on the 7th of January. So... I'm going to continue doing that because I'm celebrating your Christmas. And that brings me on to this particular song. So this is taken from Amazing Ukraine channel, which I have, um, I have not only subscribed, but I've also became, I hit the notification as well. Because there is abundance of folk music. I mean, there's music for each season's. So I need to check that out. So that's going to be my point of reference. So when I highlight that, then I'm going to find artists who's actually sung those songs. But today I'm sticking with the Christmas carols. So this one is Let Jesus Be a Little Child. Do you know the song? I'm sure you do. So the lyrical context is we have arrived at your house, mister. We want to sing a lullaby to the Lord. And then the chorus goes, may Jesus little child bless your life. And they sung that twice. Um, so that you live in peace and no, and knew no trouble. I think no, no trouble or knew no trouble. Let me know. Um, do you know, Master, that Jesus was born? Jesus himself appeared on the manger on the straw. Then it goes back into the chorus. May Jesus, little child, bless your life twice. Uh, and, and they sing, sing that twice. So that you live in peace and knew no trouble. So that's a little bit of uh, what I have and we're going to go straight into my next reaction shall we so wishing everybody in Ukraine a Merry Christmas uh, it's not yet I know it's the 7th but I'm going to continue with the uh, the Christmas carol and uh, the traditional songs that was that is to be sung around about this time so without further ado you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Christian songs.
song I don't like to sing, just listen. Especially when I hear harmonies. So that was the Ukrainian carol. Um, that was to be sung you know, around the festive seasons. I, it's just dawned on me because, as you know, I have reacted to, what, about six Ukrainian carols now, and there will be certainly many more. And one thing that's keeping sticking into my mind of recently, because Sunday just passed, and there's a lot of Sunday, there's a lot of churchy things, Christian things on TV when it comes on Sunday at a particular time. Um, but what I have realised is that there is a number of hymns and that's what we call it in the, I don't know what you call it. So in church, you've got these, in the hymn books, the, the songs, to the Christian songs, we call it hymns. And it, the melody structure, the melody structure is, is, it's like, where have I heard this song before? And it's not even the case of that, oh, this has been translated into English. It's like, it's, your melody has been stolen by various other countries. And then they put their words into it. Now, I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, maybe stolen is a very, very strong word. Maybe it's a case of that they love the song so much that they, like I said, the boats and ships of these times, they, there was an internet over these, in these times, in these era. So the boats and ships were the, it was your internet. So if there was a good song over, over in one particular country, you know, it takes a boat and somebody to sing that song while they're on a the boat, sing it to other people as a guy. You know, songs of old and songs to make you go sleep and so, songs by the camp, campfire. You know, that's how you learn these songs. But someone along those lines has said, yeah, I like that song. I'm going to use the melody, but I'm just going to put some English words for other people to understand. But it's not going to be the same words. And then it's, you know, it, it, it travels. There's a number of hymns, Christian songs in church that's sung with this melody. I'm telling you that right now. As a let Jesus be a little child. So, but is this Orthodox Christian? Because I'm sure Orthodox Christians wouldn't share their songs with, you know, Church of England Christian. And there's so many Christianity things. Do they share their things? Or is it just a melody? <laughs> I don't know. But it leaves you thinking. I do uh, need a little bit of history on this. But it's got, my, it's got my brain absolutely spinning because of what I just heard. It really does. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be carrying out some more um, Ukrainian carols. But I'm looking for the... The authenticity rather than a modern artist singing. Uh, uh, do you know what I mean? I don't mind if it's Tina Carroll singing the song. Who doesn't mind Tina Carroll singing the song? And I'm going to do more of those as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do more of those. Until then, I salute you. Boom! <laughs>